Hello everybody, welcome to QuantPrep. Today I have a quick video on how to build a football field chart. Here we have an example of how it will end up looking. Here we have the evaluation of ABC company and we have different valuation methods. For example, we have a couple of financial multiple valuations. For example, the price to earnings, enterprise to EBITDA, and we also have two different discounted cash flows valuations with different assumptions and basically all you need to create this graph is a range for each for each valuation for example here we have the DCF value approach and we, we have a minimum estimate of 80 and a maximum estimate of 110 and we'll need to have a range for each valuation so let's start so once you have your data what you will do is create a new column right between your minimum and maximum estimate and we are going to call this difference and on this column we are just going to pick the maximum value and subtract the minimum value and run, and run this formula on every valuation technique next we are going to select our data and go to insert then we go to charts and pick a 2D bar, the one in the middle. And here we can see that it is starting to look a lot like a football field chart, but we have these gray and blue bars that we don't really need. So let's call this evaluation of ABC. And the next thing you will want to do is select no fill for these bars. So no fill and do the same with the gray line. We'll also want to add the data labels so that you can know what rangers are you really using. So let's do that. You just select the bar and go to add to data labels. And we are almost done. Next, we delete this. And we also can pick up our axis. This goes, the x axis is going from 0 to 300. And since our valuations only go to 130, 300 is a bit unnecessary. So just use right click, go to format axis. And here we can pick a different maximum value. Let's go with 200. And we also want to move these values. So pick them and move them. This might be a bit tedious, but. So let's do that. And the next thing you can do is a little bit of formatting. You can pick different styles. You can select a color. Um, we are done. So maybe you want to fill this with a different color. Let's say blue. And basically we are done.